When you set up a report template for the first time, a number of components will be automatically installed. Remember, components do specific jobs within a template. They display information about specific things and can be moved, edited or deleted, depending on your requirements. For this video, we're in Academic Reports Setup, Layout, Report Templates. We'll use this sample template we've got going here, which I created in a previous video. If you're still a bit unsure about layouts and components, then you might like to check out these two videos before watching the rest of this one. You work with components in the Design tab. Hovering over the report and scrolling down, you can see the different component types already in the template. Some of them are simple, others require a bit more thought. To add a component, click the Add Component button at the top of the screen. The first thing you'll notice is that they are listed alphabetically. The second thing you'll notice is there's lots of choice. It's worth spending some time browsing the list and giving due consideration to the information required on your report. You can preview what each one looks like. Some contain detailed information such as the Attitudes to Learning component, and others are very simple like the Page Break component. As an example, let's add another assessment overview to the report template. Click Add. We'll leave the style as default. When selecting the position, click on the drop down. There are already two of these components there, so let's place this one beneath the first two so that they are grouped together. We'll call this one Assessment of Attitude. And then we'll assign the assessment type to Attitude. We could assign this to a subject, but we'll leave this as an overall assessment for this example. Select some styling options. We'll leave all of these at their default values, but you could change them. Click Save. Scroll down to find your newly added component. The component is there, but it's not showing anything. Why is that? This is an opportunity to demonstrate the necessity of an overall schema or assessment schema for reports to work. Let's take a look at what was specified in the schema for this report. I'll go back to assessment schemas. This will be fairly easy to track as there is only one schema in this example. Remember, we're keeping this one simple. Click Edit to have a look inside the schema. Under Scales, we can see the attitude has been set to Not Required. OK, so there's the source of the problem. To fix that, click Edit. Let's change Attitudes to Learning to a three-point scale. And then select Attitudes to Learning from this drop-down menu. Scroll down and click Save. You can now see that Attitudes to Learning is being reported on and uses a three-point scale. Let's go back and have a look at that component. Notice how the component hasn't updated to reflect the scale change we just made. To see that change, you'd need to add the component again. Let's quickly do that to wrap this up. Click Add Component. Click Add Assessment Overview. Select the position. Give it a name. Select the assessment type as Attitude. We'll leave all the other settings as they are. Click Save. Now let's take another look. You can see the new component with a three-point scale. To delete the previous one, simply click the Delete icon.